now after I've got it all kind of upgraded, set up, whatever. Uh, uh, if you hadn't kept up with what I've been doing on it, uh, I've been, uh, we've upgraded, upgraded the tuners, uh, put the Wilkinson Art Deco style tuners on, and uh, we've uh, replaced the bridge with the roller bridge, and also put in a set of Guitar Madness pickups, and uh, a set of Ernie Ball strings. So that's been, other than, you know, checking the fret level, polishing the frets, um, really, the, you know, adjusting the truss rod, all of that, it's a whole total different guitar. I mean, this is it just a, a total different, I mean, it's not, it's, it's, is it playable? It's actually very enjoyable to play. So, uh, you know, I, I would recommend anybody that's bought one of these that, that, that think they're happy with what they have uh, to, to, to take a look at maybe making some of these upgrades uh, because the, the pit, the tuners made a tremendous difference. I mean, I can I can tune this guitar, leave it a day or two, and come back, and you know it, it's right there where I left it. it. It don't vary any at all. And the bridge, you know, it, I had trouble with it rattling, so I went ahead and put on the bridge. And it's hard to tell in this, but the the, the rollers are actually brass, so. And it's got a lot of adjustment for intonation and stuff on it. Uh, the pickups are uh, Guitar Madness toaster buckers, and uh, they're I love them. Uh, the ones that I took out, I, I don't have them right here with me. They're the same exact pickup that comes out of a Chibson, like the the Chibson I bought. I had a Glowry one time in here that had the same pickup. They're FG52s or GF52. The one's a 52, one's a 50, but it's the same type if you buy one of these Chinese manufactured guitars. And and they're they didn't sound all that bad, but you know, they were they were pretty microphonic, but they didn't sound well enough to, that I would want to spend the time to uh, to wax pot them and all that. That might be something that I do later on just to have, a, you know, to do a video on wax potting because I've never wax potted a pickup. So I would think I'd like, you know, I'm going to try it just to see what happens. So, but this is, uh, you know, this addressed all the issues. I didn't change the electronics and we had talked about changing the knobs to a, uh, chicken head type knob and I stuck a cup stuck them on there just set them on there when I had it on the bench and they they didn't look right now if I had like the poker chip pieces to go around with like one through ten and then the chicken knob they would probably would have looked better but I've got somewhere I've got some of the gold or amber Gibson knobs with the volume tone you know, with a silver in the middle, and I'm thinking probably doing something like that on there. But the chicken heads, you know, I had votes for and against, and they just didn't, they just didn't look right when it came right down to it. They looked too scattered out and small, and you know, with a surrounding around them, with you know, like the numbered little poker chip, would probably look better. But I wasn't really digging it, so right now I'm, I'm where I'm at with that. So. Uh, you know, we talked about in the other video of what we were going to have in the cost, and you always get the same argument is, well, for what you spent on that, you could have bought something better. So let's just break that down. If you go to Amazon and buy this guitar, when you can get them, they're $139 free shipping. All right. The bridge was $19.95, and that's a brass bridge, you know, chrome-plated brass bridge with the brass rollers. It's heavy. 
Good uh, Wilkinson Bridge. Uh, the tuners were twenty one forty seven. Is what I you know is what the tuners got. That's Wilkinson tuners. I think they're sixteen to one tuners. Way far cry above what was on it. Um, the pickups was really what surprised me is I bought both of these pickups for thirty eight ninety five. I mean that's delivered to the door. Two humbucker pickups. There, uh, that was amazing, and I'll, I've got a story to tell on that. Uh, but a set of Ernie Ball strings, five five dollars and a half for a set of Ernie Ball forty six tens or ten forty sixes, however you want to say it. And you know, I had trouble with the, with the other string being, uh, you know, it really buzzing a lot. Once I put these on and and set the bridge. I hadn't had any issues at all with, you know, with with buzzing or anything. I mean, this is unplugged before it just, you know, buzzed and rattled. Uh, so, so that's, I mean, I, you know, other than changing out the electronics, and if anybody's ever tried to change out these electronics in a, in a semi-hollow body guitar, if you don't have to, I suggest don't. I mean, <laughs> that's all I can say. It's maybe I'm just old and impatient that, that it gets me. So that's 224.87 guitar, new tuners, new strings, new pickups, new bridge. Okay, what are you gonna go buy that's got the quality Wilkinson tuners, Wilkinson bridge? And got good, nice. These are the humbuckers are uh, like a 8.5 in the bridge, a 7.5 in the neck. They're on the code fives. I think I said in the last video I thought they were twos, but when they came, they were fives. But you hear them, they sound great. Okay, so what are you going to go buy for $224 that, that, that can equal this? You can't. You're going to pay. You know, four ninety nine, three fifty, whatever in that area for a Ibanez Art Core something along that line. And I'm not knocking any of those Epiphone dot, but I don't think you can do no better. I mean, for that kind of money, and you've got a, 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 an enjoyable, playable guitar. Uh, that's that's hard to beat. Now the pickups, when I installed them, I had an issue with the humbucker in the bridge not only half of it working and you know i fiddled around with it i had the wiring diagram looked at it uh so i ended up it, you know messaging guitar madness about it you know sent them an email uh asking them you know tell them what issue i had and really not expecting like most time when you <laughs> You know, when you message a distributor or a manufacturer or a seller, you're lucky to get a response. And most of the time, if you do, it's just a something recording saying to go to their website or something, you know, kind of blow you off this way or that way. Well, I messaged them and heard right straight back and addressing the issue I had. And uh, they worked with me. I had the, the pickup in the guitar, you know, strung up everything. So, I mean, I once we talked, I pulled the, you know, loosened the strings, pulled the tailpiece, pulled the pickup out, and we went through. And over, you know, between my time having to do this and do that and test and whatever, it was probably an hour overall. And the man very knowledgeable about what everything done what it should do test you know had me checked it and it ended up being the grounding issue and it wasn't no big problem so that really impressed me that that a company like that has a knowledgeable people and take the time over a 38 dollar set of pickups to to go in detail and and, and figure out what what's wrong and it was, like I say, it was a minor thing. It wasn't nothing major, so it was easy to fix. And But, I mean, that's something that I really appreciate. 
and this day and time is even being able to, you know, communicate with an actual person, get a response at all anymore. So, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take guitar madness horn for that because. You know, I was so impressed, I went ahead and bought another set of single coil pickups that I'm going to do in a uh, Stratocaster project that I've got coming up. Because I was real happy with the way they sound, the quality of them, but just like I say, the, the customer service was was unreal. I mean, it was, you know, and I know it that, you know, if you get out here and have an issue anymore, just trying to, to talk to anything but a machine is... That's about all you can ask for. So I really appreciate, I appreciate Guitar Madness for that. So, but I, that's, that's about it on this one. You know, we'll move on to the next one, but I'm very satisfied with it. I'd highly recommend these to anybody that wants to, you know, that's got a little bit of knowledge about setting one up, upgrading a little bit, but I mean, you know, well, well under $250. I mean, under $230, under $225. Guitar, pickups, bridge, tuners, everything. And it's, and it's sharp. I mean, it's sharp. It, you know, it plays great. It sounds great. I mean, I've, I've wore it out. So, uh, but anyway... That's about all I got in this video. Uh, if you you know if you want to go back and look at the other thing, I've got two other videos on this guitar. And uh, if you've got any question about you know where I got something or whatever, you know just leave it in the comments. Uh, if you've done something to yours, let me know about that. And uh, you know hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, give me the thumbs up, hit the little bell, all that good stuff, so, you know, I really appreciate all that, and I appreciate all the subscribers I have now, and I, I hope you're getting what you're paying for, so, but I've got other stuff coming up, I've got a real interesting, uh, Squire Standard, uh, Stratocaster that I picked up, and that'll probably be the next, next video, you're gonna really love that, I'll leave you hanging on the edge, but this, this thing's a jewel. You just got to wonder what what somebody was thinking whenever they done what they did. But anyway, but I really appreciate it, and I hope this has helped some folks out and give a little more information on it. And until the next time, I'll see you later.